Hi, my name is uh, Davi Seyman. Uh, I'm uh, the attack and backs coach for the DHL Stormers. Uh, we're going to take you through some footwork drills that uh, we've been doing with Sabelo for the past few years and uh, hopefully it can help you back home. Okay, so the first drill uh, that we're going to do is about foot placement. It's important to, to place your foot correctly, otherwise you're not going to get power off your step. So important things here to, to focus on is if you take your foot out, so that you point your toe out, so that you get uh, more studs in the ground and also not on your toe or on your heel. It must be a flat foot. Because uh, off a flat foot, you can push yourself away and you're going to get more power on your step. Okay, so the first one Sebi went through there, I think what, what you can do Sebi there is uh, just get your foot a bit more looser, so more circular movement. So you actually want to take your foot in front of your shin, just to get your levers a bit looser, so that it's almost more of a bounce uh, when you get onto your step, uh, instead of being quite stiff. You want to be nice and loose, so circular movement, put that foot down, and then again a big circular movement uh, on the next one. Okay. Next roll uh, will be just to get your feet in the right position just before you step. So it's quite important that, that you load your step and you get your feet uh, as close as possible towards each other and then from there either go into a step or, or goose step so that you've got both sides to attack. Okay, on this roll we'll use the same line of cones we used in the previous roll. So what you want to do is uh, say start with your left foot in front, bring your right foot forward and then just push yourself off to the next cone. So this sort of this movement. So that's that's almost into a goose step uh, movement, but it's it's teaching you how to get your feet together so that you can execute your step. Okay, Savi, so just on the on the next one uh, that you go. Obviously, you want to generate power. So how do I get power onto this foot? It's just by lifting your your knee that you're gonna get your foot closer on. So the, the foot you're gonna goose off. So lift that knee and then from there push yourself forward because you also don't want that foot to land behind you. That's not going to give you enough power. That foot must land next to that foot so that you can go forward. Okay. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just combine uh, the previous two drills and that's uh, again just getting your feet in the right position. You know, Making sure you're loading to get power, loading to get power, and then executing a step. So we just move the cones a little bit so that you're working in a different angle. Still attacking forward, that's the space that you want to attack. So in this space, again, you're doing the first, second drills movement. We're lifting your foot, getting your feet together, moving off that foot, lifting, get it together, and then go onto your step on the inside of a defender. So what you can do, uh, once you sort of understand the concept and how to, to work your feet, you can do different combinations where you go, can go two goose steps, step to the inside or step to the outside, goose step, step to the inside. Because it's quite important to you know, make your feet work, but also know, you know how are you ready to, to execute whatever you want to do. So the, the more combinations you can put together, better feet will work and almost at a stage you don't have to think about it. It will happen naturally when you, when you read the defender. Um, I guess the most important thing here is to try and keep your hips square so that you get as much power as you can off the step because when you're closing off your hips you only give yourself one angle so you need to allow your hips to go whichever way you want to if you're on a goose allow them to do that and if you're on a step inside allow them to do that effectively so we're just going to de demonstrate uh, we'll go outside step a goose and inside step Yeah, what, what we'll bring in now is just a bit of decision making because um, you know, once you got it, uh, you got the movement right, there's obviously going to be decisions made in terms of what the defense is doing. If the defense is coming on, on, on an angle, if he's, uh, he's closing your inside space or he's working to your outside shoulder. So that's going to determine which, which skill you're going to use. Um, so what we'll do now, Sebi, is we'll, we'll work uh, on a bit of a lateral line to draw the defender over. The moment I show a blue cone, he's staying in the inside. So what are you going to do then? Going on side of Okay, right. And if I show a white cone, he's, uh, he's over committing, he's turning his shoulders, where are you going to go? I'm going to the inside. Okay, right. So that's something you can maybe do at home where someone's standing a bit away from you to give you different colors uh, to react to uh, what the defender is doing. I think what's important here is to try and move the same way so that defenders don't actually know if you're stepping on the inside or outside. That's why the hip or like stay straight, uh, stay square position is, is quite important here because 
then you can move a certain way without him knowing where you're going. And obviously, um, all the position is the position is actually quite similar. So he doesn't know. You don't know that knows where you're going. So it's quite important to keep your hips square and obviously move the same way. Make sure you get the technique right. A lot of repetition, that's always the best um, you know, to make sure your feet's in the right position. Uh, and then you can go out there and have some fun with it. Well, being unpredictable is one of the biggest um, assets in a rugby game. You know, you don't want people to know where you're going. You want, you want to be the only one where you know where it's going. And obviously, like, defenders will fear you because obviously, you know, they don't know how you're going to be moving or which direction you're going to be taking, which, which makes it very difficult for them to defend against you. So it's very vital to start off slow, as Dave said and obviously progress. It's, it's just like, you know, riding a bicycle, as you said. You start off slow and then you pick it up as you go. But these are, have helped me tre tremendously in my career. Um, hopefully it will work for you too.